Greetings, everyone, and welcome to The Effect. This is Henry speaking. It is 9.53 a.m. Central Standard Time on 6-25-2017. <clears throat> My uh, frozen airplane explain video is getting a little bit of commotion, and a lot of people in the comments are saying, well, what about the frozen airplane in the air and the people are still moving around inside? And what about this and what about that? Well, this video was only, there are many, many, many projects and different technologies out there. This video was just to explain one technology, the holographic technology where it's failing. But um, a lot of people want to say, well, you know, great. Well, I, I, I've seen, for example, um, people have actually seen time stopped. And um, so this girl says, my 18 year old daughter saw people and animals frozen when she was driving from Corvallis and using Oregon. She didn't even know about this stuff when she called freaked out right after she told me. I then explained to her what's going on. She didn't take pics as the, she's also freaked out. Um, and then I replied back to her. Um, basically, I'm just going to, and then I'll, I'll hit a third project. Another person talked about another project. So I'm going to, the, the first video is one technology. In this video, I'm going to talk about two more projects, two other technologies. And yes, there are many more I can talk about, but I can't talk about all the technologies and all the projects that are happening in, you know, in one video. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, the, now humans are messing with time, but this is not a human project. I was, I was involved on, I use the word black ops because I don't know what the heck that's to call it. I mean, black op is a, a human government thing. Uh, this is an alien project. They use other words and other term, terminologies you're not familiar with. And I don't want to get into all the, how things work and the different, how the projects work and the communications and yada yada. So I can get down to the gritty, nitty gritty detail. Um, but basically, a high over, a high level overview. <clears throat> if you could uh, picture yourself, you're like in a biology lab, and you're looking through a, um, a microscope, and you have your petri dish, and things are moving around, right? So you take that petri dish, and you freeze it, or flash freeze or whatever, and then you put it back under the microscope, and look, everything's frozen. And so it's kind of like that. They have a technology where they can freeze a piece of real estate. And then let's say you're still looking under the microscope and you take a little dropper and you have another organism or bacteria or whatever, and you drop it on top of the, your frozen thing and you'll see things moving around and you'll see things frozen at the same time. So this is a parable of we, we, the humans and our reality is being frozen by a, 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 a higher dimensional being. And um, then they are in this parable are the, the, the eyedropper that gets dropped on and then they can move around and they can move around uh, in our reality. And I, <laughs> you're probably not even going to believe this part. So I'm not even going to get into what they do when they freeze time and why do you need to freeze time and why these, you know, folks are, you know, majority of them are hybrids. <clears throat> A large portion of it is the, the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army is heavily involved because to these projects take amazing amount of manpower besides the high tech it takes a lot of manpower to move people, and that's what they're doing. They're, they're moving people. They're moving things around. They're totally screwing with our reality. So this is why I don't usually make a video on this kind of stuff. But this is a whole other project, a whole different technology where they can freeze things. Now, so, sometimes things don't work perfect, and there's glitches, and there's what we call people get stuck in, or frozen in time. They, they get out of sync with time. They, they were supposed to be you know, frozen with everybody else, but for some reason they didn't, and they can move around. And because they can move around, now they're seeing things that they're not supposed to see, like her daughter. Um, you know, She saw people and animals and all kinds of stuff frozen. And besides holographic technology failing, people are also seeing airplanes frozen. Now there's a video of an airplane where it apparently appears to be frozen in the air and every inside is moving around. Well, that's a perfect example of the technology failing. The it worked on the um, you know the engines and the metal, and it, it worked on all that stuff. But for some reason, the biological life forms uh, inside didn't get frozen as well. They they were supposed to. And somebody caught on to it and grabbed a camera and uh, filmed a uh, frozen time technology malfunctioning. The airplane got frozen, but the people inside didn't. An example with this girl right here. 
uh, every, all the animals and pro people and everything was frozen, but it failed for her and she was able to walk around and see things. So sometimes this technology fails you know, or, or maybe you're outside the, the experiment zone. Maybe you're outside the project and you're looking in. So if you are, if you happen to be outside the project zone and you're in regular time and you have the ability to see into the time rift, um, the, the, you know, dimensional shift, what's happening, um, where time is out of sync from you, if you're able to see into that, then yeah, you can take pictures of frozen airplane, and everything, because everything in the project zone is frozen. And if you're outside, you can also look in and take a picture of it. So this is uh, why other people are starting to catch on. They run these projects on such a regular basis, and they, they stop and freeze time and, and screw with their reality on such a regular basis that people are just simply starting to catch on, and they're starting to pull out their cameras, and they're starting to take pictures of these um, secret projects. Now, the next uh, project I will go into. Um, that's fine. They want me to give it in anyway. Um, YouTube won't let me reply to this girl. I tried several times. And YouTube just will not let me. I can, I'm replying to everybody this morning, but I cannot reply to this girl. And that's what sparked me to make this video because, and let me tell you right now, they're not happy about this. I'm going to spank him from making this one. But she brought it up. Um, she, You can read this Jane Doe's comment. I even tried to pin it. I'm trying. It's like, oh, it's already pinned, but it's not. Um, I try to get a hold of, I can't reply to this girl. I went to her website. I can't reply to her at all. Um, basically, she, uh, you can go into this video and, and read this for yourself. But um, she's seeing what, what we call the, the air traffic control pattern. Basically, the, another technology is, you know, before they turn into the airplane, um, this is a totally different technology than the holographic crap you saw failing. Um, basically, you know, they look like orbs is what she's describing and they come in, they get closer and they, they morph into an airplane and then they, they don't really look like airplanes. They don't have the right lights and they just, everything looks wrong. They fly by. I don't know. She said they don't, they also don't make a sound. I forgot she picked up on that too. I've seen this many, many times. It typically happens from two to 4 AM in the morning. Um, and you are literally seeing hundreds of ships coming in. The, uh, uh, entrance to this place is to the east, so the air traffic control power coming in is to the east. So you'll see dozens of ships, hundreds, uh, coming in as orbs and morphing into airplanes and then flying by, and they don't look like airplanes, and they're, they're completely silent. This is uh, one of the closest uh, guarded uh, projects. This is like, <laughs> you know, beyond top and cosmic. You know, it's, it's this. Um, they really don't want people to know about the air traffic control pattern. They keep it very well hidden and disguised, and they've this person has caught up, caught onto it. And I try to reply to her, and YouTube won't let me. Kind of interesting. So um, I don't. Most of you probably think I'm crazy, and you stop listening to me at this point. But I don't even want to get into this because this is just such a guardly, guarded secret, and it's uncomfortable for me to even talk about it. Uh, this project. Um, this is. I, I talk about how they transport people. Uh, that's how I started my videos way back in the day, a year and a half ago. I talk about the uh, the transportation project. So this is a transportation project. They they move uh, thousands of people every day in and out of our reality. So um, you the, you know this sounds like complete insanity, and this is why um, people are always saying, "How come you don't talk about you things? You know, you always hold them back, and you're not telling us everything." Well, this person sparked it, so I, I went ahead with this story and. This is one of their closest, guardest, highest secrets. They do not want people to know. There's a full-blown air traffic control pattern of orbs coming in, at, you know, two to four o'clock in the morning from the east. Um, it's at low horizon, you know, like an air traffic control pattern. You can see hundreds and hundreds of these things. It's it's very, very rare to see it. Um, it's supposed to be hidden. I really don't know how she saw it. Um, I'm just appalled. I'm shocked that she actually saw it. That's not something you're supposed to see. <laughs> I've seen it many, many times, but you know, I was, as you say, part of the project or in it. So that's how I was able to see these kind of things uh, that you folks were never meant to see. So you are simply seeing things that you were never meant to see and you don't under understand them and you're you know, your, your puzzle is in perplex because it involves off-world technology and very high level of physics. 
uh, just amazingly advanced technology that's you know millions of years ahead of humans is um, the bottom line. So anyway, I think that's enough. As I always say, sunset, sunrises, many times a day, pray, meditate from that peaceful place, get back, get connected back to true source God creator and remember who you are and shine like a pot of pillar of light onto the world. And just let there be nothing but peace. Nothing but peace.